The Gearing City Council signs off on an agreement to bring a massive solar project to the industrial park on the east edge of town. KNB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News. Presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, a three-part agreement with Sand Hills Energy for construction and operation of a solar generation facility next to the Gearing Water Treatment Plant received a green light from the City Council Monday. The project would give the city 1.4 megawatts of renewable energy at an initial rate of 3.99 cents per kilowatt hour with annual increases that would bring the rate up to 4.5 cents over 25 years. City Administrator Pat Heath told the council not only is the initial rate below the current wholesale rate that the city is paying, the solar operation will also help with peak daytime electricity demands. But once we're above that peak, we pay a higher rate as long as we're above that peak until we get back in within the rate that we're, or the power that we're allotted. The nice thing about solar is, is this arc won't be this high, it might be just this high. So we'll be over, we'll be in that peak area less with solar than we will with uh, if we didn't have solar. And so we'll save some money there also. Heath said the electricity generated would amount to about 8% of the city's total average usage and would max out the city's allowed renewable mix when combined with power received through the Kimball Wind Project. The council approved all three contracts on votes of seven to nothing. Well, the public had the opportunity this week to meet the two finalists for Scotts Bluff City Manager. On Monday, Matthew Schmitz of Lansing, Kansas was in town for a meet and greet session with locals as well as to take a tour of the community. He told KNB News that with two children in high school, he and his wife would have no immediate plans of leaving the area if hired. I, what I will tell you, I'll give you the same answer I gave them. I can't guarantee that I'm going to be here in 20 years. I can't guarantee I'm going to be here in 10 years. What I can tell you is as long as the council and I have a productive relationship and I'm happy and things work, I will be here. On Tuesday, it was Scottsdale Police Chief and Interim City Manager Kevin Spencer's turn to have a meet and greet with the public and meet with community stakeholders. He says that having worked for the City of Scottsdale for more than two decades, he has a good pulse on how our local government works. Every Wednesday morning at 9 o'clock we have senior staff, so there's all the department heads are in here with the city manager and we talk about what we're working on and what's going on around town and what needs to get done. Um, uh, you know, the, we talk, we go over the agenda, um, and so being part of that process has helped so. Now that the in-person interviews have taken place, it will be up to the Scottsdale City Council to sit down, discuss the two candidates, and decide if they wish to extend an offer to either Schmitz or Spencer. We'll have more news right after this. Tired of feeling stuck? Not sure if you are on the right track? Platte Valley Bank can help keep your finances moving forward with checking account options to fit your lifestyle and an online account chooser to make finding the right account easy. Control your financial future with helpful budgeting tools and automatic savings plans. Now is the time to enjoy the ride with Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. back. A 21-year-old Gehring man who was arrested in February after going to the Scottsdale Police Department and threatening to kill cops was sentenced on amended charges last week in district court. Trey Ariana was arrested on charges of terroristic threats, assault on an officer, resisting arrest and obstruction, but last week in court he pleaded no contest to amended misdemeanor charges instead. He was initially arrested in the public safety building parking lot after refusing to show officers his hands and when police tried to cuff him, 
Ariano punched an officer in the face and attempted to run away. District Judge Andrea Miller sentenced Ariano to 24 months of probation, plus time already served in jail. Well, a 30-year-old Mitchell man who got into an argument over the weekend with his mother is now behind bars and facing several felony charges. Mitchell police were called Friday evening after Andrew Flatten had gotten into a fight with his mom and left the house with a handgun. Officers made contact with him on 19th Avenue and found a gun in his waistband, suspected methamphetamine, and a glass smoking device. He's now facing charges including possession of a firearm by a prohibited person, possession of a controlled substance, and disturbing the peace. Flatten was arraigned on the charges Monday afternoon in Scottsbluff County Court. And Gearing Public Schools is proud to announce that GHS physical education educator Lisa Freeberg is being recognized with a Society for Health and Physical Educators Nebraska Service Award. Each year, Shape Nebraska honors teachers who are doing an outstanding job in the field of adapted physical education, dance, health, or physical education. Freeberg will be formally recognized at the Shape Nebraska Awards celebration during the Shape Nebraska Fall Conference in November. Changing leaf colors means yard work. Your friends at Tri-City Stormwater wants to remind you of the proper way to dispose of fallen leaves. Leaves make great mulch for trees and bushes and compost for future gardens. The city also has yard waste bins so they can dispose of all your leaves at the city compost facility. Always keep your leaves out of the gutters. Not only do they cause clogging and flooding, they can pollute our waterways by causing nutrient overload. So keep your yard looking good and your drinking water safe because it's our water, our responsibility. do two pictures just like we've done in the past, one straight down and one from the side, but it's better in the fact that they're going to get called back less, there's greater accuracy, and it's a lot easier to find it in dense breasts. A woman should start getting their mammos at age 40 every year, and one in eight people get breast cancer, so it's the best way to find it is early detection. Featured Pet of the Week, we meet Spooky, an 18-month-old English Mastiff mix who's got a heart as big as his stature. This guy came into the Humane Society last week and needs a great forever home. His adoption cost is $150, and that includes his neuter, microchipping, and all vaccinations. Plus, whoever adopts Spooky will also receive a $25 Murdoch's gift card to start spoiling him right away. Kelly's, home of the Valley's best selection of wine, spirits, and beer. Whether you're brand loyal to the tried and true brew or really enjoy trying something different and new, Kelly's has something for everyone. Family owned and operated and right on your way on West 27th Street in Scotts Bluff. Kelly's Liquor, if you can't find it at Kelly's, it's not worth drinking.
Community Calendar is brought to you by Riverstone Bank. First State Bank is now Riverstone Bank. Community strong with the same people you know and trust. Panhandle Trails Intercity Public Transit, based in Alliance, Nebraska, is the only intercity bus serving Nebraska Panhandle communities and Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Panhandle Trails operates a regularly scheduled bus service, assisting you in making connections with Greyhound Bus Partners, regional airports, healthcare, employment and education opportunities, shopping, family, friends, and more. Panhandle Trails serves the general public of all ages and offers accessible transportation for those with special mobility needs. Let Panhandle Trails help you make your connection. Call 308-761-8747. Looking for free instead of fees? Platte Valley Bank can help you keep your finances moving forward with no ATM fees. Whether you're headed to the lake, the mountains, or just to the grocery store, you can enjoy the freedom of free ATM access anywhere, anytime. Platte Valley Bank. You belong here. And finally tonight, with Halloween right around the corner, the West Nebraska Art Center is excited to present its annual Booze and Brews fundraiser this weekend. This adults-only event will feature beer tasting, charcuterie boards, and Mexican food spreads. Program Director Stephanie Coley says costumes are encouraged and the money raised will help with improvements at the Art Center. So this, this specific fundraiser, we are trying to get some new lights for our main gallery. Um, we did our Bronson Gallery for our classroom because we had to move it since of COVID. And it's a, a lot brighter and the kids can see a lot better. And it displays our artwork a lot better too. And we just want to do the same thing for upstairs. But of course upstairs is a bit bigger so we're going to need a little bit more money. And also the money that we make helps us keep the art center free and open to the public mm -hmm. and have various events throughout the season including classes or adult class or youth classes and adult classes mm -hmm. and other special events. The event will be Friday at 7 p.m. at the Hotel 21 in Garing and tickets are $30 and can be purchased at the door. Well that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there. We'll see you here next time.